Dear friends, welcome to Infos. Welcome to another video from Infos. In this video, we are discussing about a special type of valve calling pressure relief valves (PRV). Sometimes it is called PSV also, pressure safety valve. So this is also part of valve. So in this video, we are discussing about pressure relief valve. This valve is very important valve in a uh, oil and gas system. Not only oil and gas system, any other uh, process industry to protect uh, over pressure formation inside the pipeline, vessels or uh, uh, discharge side of a rotating machines. Many area uh, these valves are using. Uh, let us see uh, what is the constructional details, definition, how it is working, design details and other things. Welcome to this video, Pressure Relief Valves. A pressure relief valve is a self-operating valve that is installed in a process system to protect or against over pressurization of the system. See, that is the definition. A pressure relief valve is a self-operating valve. So, a spring loaded is there, that spring is here and the upstream pressure is uh, uh, acting on this side and the downstream pressure the opposite against pressure is acting from the spring so we will see that on the detail in coming slides uh, self operating valve that is installed in a process system to protect against over pressurization of the system when excess pressure excess line pressure or in the separator or any other upstream pressure is detected the pressure relief valve automatically opens so so opens and the excess pressure is relieved relieved a pressure relief valve is installed in a process system where excess pressure constitutes a safety concern of the piping or equipment bursting or where an abnormal operating condition could damage the process you can see in this one uh, a process separator here, three phase separator. So inside a pressure is there. So wellhead fluid is coming and processing to oil, gas and water. So separating this component. And so here this is the uh, relief valve is connected that one. So this relief valve, pressure relief valve is protecting this separator from uh, extra high pressure. Normally high pressure will take care of by instrumentation system. So extra high, high pressure. Uh, to protect that one to this vessel to uh, concern on equipment bursting or uh, damaging or abnormal operation or a hazardous condition. So this uh, PRV uh, will take care. So this is the one application installed in a process system. Many applications are there. This is uh, one of the application. Following depressurization uh, of the process line to safe or normal limit the pressure relief valve automatically cross again to allow the normal system. That means it is a, the spring loaded the valve, it is automatically open if the extra pressure, high extra high pressure forming inside the process. Once it is relieved that one, reducing that pressure or it is pressure is releasing to the safe location, then valve will again go back to its normal position. That means the spring is acting uh, downward and it will set to back. So this is an automatic operating valve, pressure relief valve. Pressure relief valve can be used in both gas and liquid services, although the design varies with each. So that means for both liquid services and the gas service, and uh, we can use that one. Let us see how the uh, difference is there. What is the name calling that one? Let us see that. Pressure relief valves are actuated. Actuated means open or closed. We are already discussing in our manual valves and uh, many uh, different type of valve, the actuation system or actuator system. We have discussed that one. Also in coming videos are also it is coming that one many type of type of actuator. So in uh, pressure relief valve, two type of actuator system is there in two common methods. Let us see that one. The first is through system actuation, actuation, also commonly called direct acting pressure relief valve. So that is one type of valve where the pressure, process pressure act on one side that is here in the bottom side, inlet side. 
on the closer element commonly a discord nozzle here it is their discord nozzle while a predetermined spring provide a mechanical load on the other side this is the uh, pre, uh, mechanical load spring is there predetermined load is there we can adjust the screw the, there is a one screw is there in the top bolt system screw type system is there we can increase and decrease the pressure according to the inlet pressure or design pressure so this is one method direct acting pressure relief valve so when this pressure inlet pressure is more than this uh, uh, opposite acting spring loaded pressure so it will uh, op uh, it will open it will lift the disc and it will uh, uh, the bring back the uh, uh, spring uh, to the uh, coming to the close and uh, pressing the spring and it will go back to outlet line so release uh, uh, mechanical uh, this one uh, uh, inlet fluid will release through the outlet <clears throat> so the correct spring rate is critical uh, to the function of the pressure relief valve as well as nozzle opening so so the uh, the pressure of the spring is very critical for the nozzle opening so this is this way this uh, direct acting pressure relief valve is working When line pressure reaches its maximum limit, the spring rate is such that the pressure forces overcome. See, that is the correct word. I did not get the word correct word. The uh, pressure force overcomes the spring, uh, spring force, causing the spring and disc to retract, allowing to for, for pressure to escape through the nozzle at a predetermined flow rate. So the that means uh, when the uh, bottom pressure or inlet pressure is overcome the spring pressure it will release or it will retract the spring uh, then it is releasing the fluid uh, to a safe location so uh, uh, direct acting pressure relief valve another type is uh, the second actuation method is a pilot actuation also called a pilot pressure relief valve in which a pilot valve mechanism monitor the system pressure and triggers the main valve to open when the pressure exceeds the limit see there is a small pilot spring is there so a, there is an indirect method you can call better to call that indirect method pilot pressure relief valve so in which a pilot valve mechanism is there monitor the system pressure and it trigger the main valve to open when the pressure exceed not like direct acting uh, not only one spring see here a system and it is interconnected with see the uh, system pressure also system pressure also it is connected see the pilot uh, mechanism although such same pilot actuation design place the pilot mechanism inside the valve I, like this inside the valve most have mechanism attached an outside surface see here outside surface also possible both internal inside mechanism and outside mechanism such as bonnet cap uh, to the body or, or to the body uh, while using a bracket the pilot mechanism also determines operating characteristics of the valve same uh, with the pilot pressure relief valve the closure element is held in place uh, by the process fluid or an external power supply or combination of both this pilot mechanism always using normally it is using from the process fluid or your external power is there but normally majority of the case it is using by process fluid then in another another section we have to discuss uh, pressure relief valve open in two way one way is full lift the first method is called full lift let us see how it is when the over pressurization causes to disc to open slightly when the inlet pressure is uh, uh, overcome the excess uh, spring pressure slightly starting to open but the valve open fully open the valve open to the full open position immediately and allow for uh, immediate depressurization of the line so the quick action you can say that one uh, in the up, uh, bottom pressure is increasing slightly over than the spring pressure it will full lift completely open the valve this is one method and another method is uh, the second method is called modulating lift in the name itself is a partially open in which the valve only partially opens 
just enough to relieve the other pressurization but not enough to depressurize the line entirely. So in this case all partially open we can simply say that one. Pressure relief valves divided into two families according to the application. Another category is coming. Uh, one is a relief valve in the name itself is there are used in liquid surface. This is very important. Whenever uh, we are going to the field and reading the PND and other thing, we sometimes the name itself PSV, PRV, RV, many names are uh, coming to the mind and the uh, uh, symbols are writing there. We will confuse that one. Now, no need to confuse. It is clear that one relief valves are used in liquid surface and can be either fully open or modulating. Doesn't matter how it is opening a full lift valve or modulating valve, doesn't matter. But it is the name is relief valve, wherever you see relief valve, pressure relief valve or simply RV relief valve using in liquid service. It can be either fully open modulating depending on the application. One major characteristics of relief valves is that because the incompressibility of liquid, liquid is incompressible. Any overpressurization of the service automatically open the valve. So that is the way it is working. On the other hand, safety valve. So that is a difference. Safety valve is a term used in a pressure relief valve used in gas or vapor service. This is very important. So we have studied two valves. One is relief valve for liquid service and safety valve for gas service. Or you can call PRV pressure relief valve for liquid service, PSV pressure safety valve for gas service. Although the last uh, large, uh, large major, majority of the application for such valves is steam service. Because of the dangers associated with high pressure and superheated steam, most safety valves are used for the protection of personal and associated system and hence name safety valves. So that is the very high pressure gas service quick opening and releasing the pressure to prevent uh, protection for person and the associated system. So this is the one of the uh, safety valve and this is uh, connected a safety valve in a uh, steam service. Generally gas service are designed to allow some over pressurization because the inherent compressibility of gas before the pressure relief valve open. So that is one reason for that word compressibility of gas. Because the critical nature of the relief and safety valves, their design is strictly regulated by local, regional and national codes. So it is ASME code is there, A API code is there. Many codes and standards are using for design of the uh, both safety relief valve, uh, pressure relief valve and pressure safety valve. <clears throat> the code with the largest influence over relief valve design is the ASME boiler and pressure vessel code. Details are not providing here. Uh, I kindly request you to read that one ASME boiler and pressure vessel code mechanical, especially mechanical and valve uh, personnel, valve operating or working personnel. So they can read and understand more information of uh, uh, different type of valve including uh, uh, pressure safety valve which provide guidelines for over pressurization. This code calls for the accreditation of the pressure relief valve manufacturers to repair organization to certain manufacturing and testing method. So why we need code means and testing standard. So it will giving to the manufacturers and vendors to repair and the manufacturing testing standard and method. American API has a wide selection of standards for the design and sizing of pressure relief valve as well as for their proper testing, storage and handling. Pressure relief valve are designed to stay closed during the operating pressure which is defined as the service pressure for the process system was designed. So this is the separator. You can see normally this PRV and PSV is closed position because uh, the set pressure, set pressure is higher than, much higher than uh, the operating pressure of the separator. Example, 50 psi is the operating separator pressure is maybe it is uh, 125 or 75 or 80 or 100 psi will be the opening pressure, set pressure of the PSV. So that is what is uh, mentioning in this line. At this point, the, down, the down, uh, downward force of the disc produced by the spring right 
and compression is greater than the upward force produced by the pressure against the disc. So the downward force is the uh, more and uh, up, uh, upstream is the compression here uh, uh, is greater than the upward force. That is why it is not opening. The downward force is also increased by any significant back pressure which is the pressure on the outlet side of the wall. It is also affected by the temperature of the service which may have an effect on spring force. So the temperature also uh, uh, considering uh, the uh, increasing the downstream means uh, upstream pressure or inlet pressure you can say that word. So that is the what is uh, mentioning here. <clears throat> pressure and temperature as well. Each pressure relief valve has a defined set pressure that is using here set pressure. I will show you the set pressure using a PNID symbol in the last of the this video which is the point where over pressurization of the system overcomes the spring force holding the disc to the nozzle. So that is the set pressure is the pressure where uh, the system pressure that is the inlet pressure or the separator pressure is overcome the uh, spring load or spring pressure, spring force you can say. Uh, when the set pressure is reached, the pressure relief, relief valve begins to open, set pressure reaching. This is called seating pressure differential is the term used to express the difference between operating and set pressure. That is the new word is coming to the uh, our studies. Seating pressure differential is the express to difference between operating and set pressure. Set pressure is designed here for the spring load and operating pressure is the system operating pressure. Uh, remember that one operating pressure varying uh, up and down but uh, the system set pressure sorry set pressure of the PSV is a single digit and it is constant. Operating pressure will vary accordingly to the system pressure. For sensitive or critical application the seating pressure differential uh, may be quite small for why a while for the broader uh, uh, for critical application seating pressure differential will be quite small. Uh, for the broader application where minor over pressurization is acceptable, the seating may be higher so that the value valve does not open at a slight decrease and upset. So means the very critical application, uh, the valve should open very quickly, but in the broader application, uh, some uh, not very critical operations, the valve will open slowly or it will take some time uh, to reach that position. So gas services, the seating pressure differential is usually between 1 to 5 percentage and when the liquid services is set to 5 to 20 percentage, see, in that way, for the from the operating pressure, uh, we can set the uh, seating pressure differential. For gas services, it may quickly will open to reduce the uh, over pressurization in the process or uh, part of the process and but liquid service is not that much fast and critical. So that's why it is putting a large percentage of seating pressure differential. Because of the actuation of the pressure relief valve can upset the process and cause problems of the production, the seating pressure differential must be set to balance the needs of the process and the safety management requirement of system. Because of uh, if very close reaching seating, uh, seating differential uh, seating pressure differential means quickly with it open sudden slow changes in the process may affect the relief valve will open so that will affect continuously in the process and releasing or losing the material also so that we have to avoid that's why we have to consider uh, seating pressure differential must set to balance the needs of the process that also we have to consider and safety management requirement Next is opening pressure. The, with the full lift valve, the valve does not immediately go to full open position at set pressure. Instead, further over pressurization is required before the valve fully open. That means it is connected a full lift type of valve. But when the valve with the system pressure is crossing the set pressure, then not immediately open. It will wait for, uh, it is a, a, a delay will be there. If extra pressure is forming from the inlet side on process the system, then it will open quickly. 
like that word so a delay will be there to protect the uh, protect the slow increase means no it will not open so this point is called opening pressure see understand that word where is the set point starting there, there is a minor delay we can provide that one to protect the system pressure again so with modulating valve the valve typically opens in a linear characteristics if you remember that one in our uh, uh, valve studies in the uh, first or second video we have studies a different type of inherent characteristics linear characteristics or some other one i forget and that type of case so linear means straight line characteristics so smooth and characteristics so uh, modulating valve open typically open a linear characteristics openly opening only enough to accumulate over pressure so smoothly it will open and release the pressure and close so that consideration is there in the design consideration is there in modulating valve and another uh, important word is reseating pressure as the overpressurization decreases so the when the pressure it is open and the pressure is released to safe location the pressure will reach a point where the downward force for of the spring overcomes the upward force of the fluid pressure causing to disc uh, to lower the finally seat so it is a reseating pressure where the system pressure is coming down and uh, spring load spring pressure is overcome the uh, inlet pressure or system pressure it will uh, back to the position and reseating so this is called this point where the disc is reseat called reseating pressure this action in which over pressurization causes the valve to move to an open position and the pressure is relieved until the valve is against the seat is called blow down which is defined as the difference between set and resetting pressure so blow down is set means open reset means uh, putting back to the position back closing position you can say simply so that point is called blow down so almost we have completed uh, the study of uh, pressure relief valve and this is a p and id uh, example you can see here uh, this is the a separator separator is there and gas is going out here and this is the uh, relief psv pressure safety valve is connected here so remember what and this is the p and id symbol uh, if uh, if you did not watch my p and id uh, video kindly request you to watch that one i will always giving the uh, channel list and full list of our video here so you can watch that one so p and id symbol is very important any process reading should be complete through the p and id reading so symbol should at least something we know to know clearly so here this is the psv is here see the set point is here set is uh, c set point 180 psi g so it is the 180 psi so system pressure is much lower so when 180 psi is reaching that one so the valve will open slowly and releasing the pressure to safe location either to flyer or atmosphere most of the time it is flyer or some other location so this is a pnid representative remember that one psv is the last way of protection in a process system after psv there is no protection system that's why psv's safety valves are mechanically designed so we can trust it maximum 100 percent we can trust we can provide remember that one immediately by part of this one i have to inform one more information see here a pressure transmitter is there below that one there will be two type two or three type of protection will be there pressure control system will be there a control valve to maintain the pressure inside the vessel plus a uh, pressure high alarm will be there it is not showing here but and the pressure alarm it will create an alarm and alert to the control room operator and the field operator to take proper action to maintain the pressure of the separator then later see you can see pt is going to signal going to the uh, shutdown logic this diamond shape is a shutdown logic it is written here in the outside hh that is pressure high high so it will uh, uh, direct or lead to a shutdown that is clearly written here sd a shutdown so before the 180 psi much lower pressure operating pressure may be uh, example i can say 
വൺ ഫിഫ്റ്റി പി എസ് ഐ ഓർ വൺ ട്വൻറ്റി ഓർ വൺ തേർട്ടി പി എസ് ഐ ആൻഡ് പ്രഷർ അലാം വിൽ ബി വൺ ഫിഫ്റ്റി ആൻഡ് പ്രഷർ ട്രിപ്പ് വിൽ ബി ഹൈ ഹൈ പ്രഷർ വിൽ ബി വൺ സിക്സ്റ്റി ലൈക്ക് ദാറ്റ് വൺ ഫോർ പ്രഷർ ഈസ് ദയർ ഓപ്പറേറ്റിംഗ് പ്രഷർ ആൻഡ് ഹൈ അലാം പ്രഷർ അലാം ഹൈ പ്രഷർ പ്രഷർ അലാം ഹൈ ഹൈ പ്രഷർ ദാറ്റ്സ് എ ട്രിപ്പ് പ്രഷർ ദെൻ ദ ഫോർത്ത് വൺ ഈസ് പി എസ് വി ഓപ്പണിംഗ് പ്രഷർ സോ ഫോർ പ്രഷർ പ്രൊട്ടക്ഷൻ സിസ്റ്റം ഈസ് ദർ ഇൻ ദിസ് പ്രഷർ സെപ്പറേറ്റർ ഈച്ച് മോസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ദ പ്രോസസ്സ് പ്രൊട്ടക്ടിംഗ് ഇൻ ദിസ് വേ ഫോർ ടൈപ്പ് സോ വൺസ് പി എസ് വി ഇസ് ദ ലാസ്റ്റ് വേ ഓഫ് പ്രൊട്ടക്ഷൻ ആഫ്റ്റർ ദാറ്റ് വൺ വി ഹാവ് നോ അതർ വേ ഓഫ് പ്രൊട്ടക്ഷൻ സിസ്റ്റം യൂസിങ് ഇൻ എ പ്രോസസ് so the hhc is i already discussed that one and uh, high high trip is also activated below much below lower than the pressure of set point of uh, psv one more valve i have to just to explain uh, end of this video pressure vacuum relief valve see we earlier we see pressure relief valve so pressure vacuum relief valve also pressure vacuum relief valves are used extensively on bulk storage tank including fixer roof with floating covers to minimize evaporation loss loss this valve prevent it to build up an ex of excessive pressure or vacuum which can unbalance the system or damage the process vessel uh, this is the uh, this one both way it is working in the inlet high pressure is there like prv it will release to externally it will release the pressure to external but inside if it is the condition a scenario for developing a system pressure is below atmospheric pressure vacuum creating then the atmospheric pressure atmospheric air or gas is protection system it will go inside so one side it is protecting from excess pressure inside the other way it is protecting low pressure inside both both case this valve is working a special type of valve pressure vacuum relief valve normally it is installing in atmospheric pressure tank that is important you can see this is atmospheric pressure tank it is connecting here a pvrv pressure vacuum relief valve sometime calling pp ps pvsv pressure vacuum safety valve pressure vacuum relief valves are protection devices typically mounted on a nozzle opening on the top of a fixed roof atmospheric tank any type of atmospheric storage tank that is important the air primary purpose to protect the tank against rupture or impulsion uh, implosion by allowing the tank to breathe or when the, when pressure changes the tank due to normal operation so the inside uh, it will uh, protect in both way excess pressure formation inside the tank it will release to safe location excess pressure and the same way lower pressure negative pressure formation vacuum pressure formation inside the tank it will protect from outside it will uh, bring uh, operating gas or air or whatever it is possible it will bring from outside and protect in this one so this is uh, usually happen you can search in the youtube this uh, tank bursting and tank collapsing uh, scenarios so valves are not working in some conditions so it is happening uh, regularly happening that one so that's why pr pvrv is an important relief safety valve in atmospheric storage tank this is the uh, pnid of uh, a storage tank simple storage tank you can see here pvsv say so, see but here in 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 psv we have see two set only one set point but here you can see two set points see plus set point is 6 uh, inch water water gauge remember that one it is not written in uh, psig or bar or something it is very low pressure system pressure is atmospheric pressure almost atmospheric pressure 1 psi 2 psi so that's why it is uh, high pressure protection is 6 uh, inch water gauge so you have to convert into psig and uh, vacuum pressure is minus 2 inch water gauge see so it is a negative pressure uh lower than the atmospheric pressure see it is a 2 inch water gauge see two set pressure will be there that is important you can refer your p and id and i request you to visit your field to see that one how the psv prv and pvsv how it is there and see and identify and familiarize in the equipment okay thanks for watching this video uh i hope you have uh, you can enjoy this video you will understand some information on basic information of relief valve 
so always i am giving here uh, um, playlist so uh, any referring uh, videos i am uh, refer to my videos you can watch here the playlist will come here the top of the right top and we are adding a uh, good videos uh, uh, end screen as well here and uh, if you like this video please share to your friends and subscribe this channel for a timely updation we have a, a telegram channel also we are putting posting there uh, available middle east based uh, best of, uh, good job positions and uh, in that one uh, so you can visit there in my join their telegram channel you will get information there thanks for watching this video having good day